I was made aware recently of a news story that came out on Jenna Jameson having contracted a syndrome called Guillain-Barre. <sighs> um, I'm in the hospital still. You've gotten some answers. Um, I'm dealing with Jillian Bar Barre syndrome, so um, we're working through that. It's not unusual to happen this time of year, especially because it's the result of a viral infection. It can be a result of vaccines. In Jenna's case, it does not appear that vaccine had anything to do with it because um, she was not vaccinated. The 47-year-old mom of three insists she, quote, did not get the jab or any jab. This is not a reaction to the jab. What happens in Guillain-Barre is the myelin sheath, which is like an insulation wrap around the nerve, gets attacked. We don't know how. Something in the viral protein may be exerting an autoimmune effect where you attack your own myelin. But every year I get three or four Guillain-Barre, and this has been going on for 35 years. But it can result in any level of paralysis. It can involve her legs, it can involve the entire body. So it's a, a pretty terrible process that happens. The myelin sheath itself is required for the nerve to conduct its electrical signals from the feet to the brain and back. And it's also important in making the diaphragm move up and down so you can breathe. So anything that involves the nerve has an insulation wrap around it that disappears and the nerve shorts out just like a wire. Depending on the degree of paralysis, they can be very debilitated. Many times there is permanent damage. It may not all come back. Sometimes uh, they're paralyzed for years, but sometimes they come back in just a few weeks. One of the effects of this that uh, seems to endure is severe pain in the distributions of these nerves, whether it's hands or feet. And it's because those nerves are shorting out, they're sending pain messages back to the brain when there's really nothing on the feet that hurts. It could be any sensation malfunction that is painful. And that's probably the most difficult long-term effect. Here's the consideration. What do you do to fix it? And nobody has a good plan for that. What we do know and what I've been using for years has been the hormone progesterone. It's because progesterone has the capability of stimulating this one receptor called a sigma-1 receptor in stem cells. And that sigma-1 receptor can convert the stem cell into a cell that makes new myelin sheath. That stimulated cell is called the oligodendrocyte. That is a myelin maker. The progesterone stimulates its conversion and morphing into an oligodendrocyte begins to make myelin and repair the nerve. That's the only thing we know at this time that will repair the damage to the nerve itself. It's not well known, unfortunately, but since there's no side effects to progesterone, it's a perfectly safe hormone to use in this case. She needs to be on the IVIG, which they're using as kind of a standard care. I'm getting my second IVIG. But also, I would recommend using the hormone progesterone to see if we can't grow new myelin insulation wrap around the nerve fiber. We're just working towards getting better.